You know, a jogger returned to a popular trail. This just one week after an attack raised some new concerns about a specific pair of stray dogs. CBS 11's J.D. Miles live from Chisholm Trail right off Custer Road in Plano for us tonight. J.D. Doug, the victim you're about to meet actually saw the dog that attacked her again today right out here in this park. She's one of eight dog bite victims in Plano since last year by two stray dogs that animal control just can't seem to catch. It was too nice a day to stay inside for people in Plano. Even though she still has stitches, Leanne Day went for a jog on the same trail where a dog took chunks out of her leg last week. I took my son, who's a, a large man, uh, with me to walk and also had a stick in my hand. But uh, I, won't be, I won't be out there in the dark until I know that the dogs are caught. The dogs she's referring to are a white and black pair of strays that have attacked eight people in Plano since early last year. This map shows the sightings reported as they continue to elude Plano Animal Control. We have expended literally thousands of dollars in resources trying to capture these dogs. Photos are about all authorities have to work with, which doesn't offer much comfort to joggers like Michael Bankston. He says he saw the dogs while walking with his girlfriend three weeks ago. Right on Carriage Lane and Parker, we seen a pack of dogs. Uh, it was nighttime. We were walking to 7-Eleven, and she got really nervous, so we turned around and went back home. And so I stomped my foot, and I said, get, and he stood his ground, and he growled some more and started to charge me a second time. Leanne Day is still shaken from her experience and worries a child would not have been as lucky as she was. It could have been a very different outcome on Monday night. Animal control officers say these dogs are so smart, they actually can sense and hear the sound of the trucks that dog catchers drive, and that helps them get away. Now, some citizens have proposed organizing searches, but nothing has been planned at this point. Live in Plano, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. All right.